she's been loving this. All month of January, she's been obsessed with this. It started when she got sick and we were like laying in bed most of the time and she was watching it. And then now it's just gotten even worse. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to come on and do my January favorites. Can you believe it's already February 1st? I'm, it's already going by fast, like what the heck? I've been so busy last month just doing everything for this baby shower and then trying to recuperate myself from Christmas and so this month, I love this month because it is our anniversary. Me and my husband, we will be together, well, we'll be together for, let's see, 2000, we got together in 2005, we started dating, so five. <laughs> we were together for like 12 years, geez, 11, 12 years, something like that. And then we would be married for eight years, so this month it's february 7th so it's next tuesday um we will celebrate our eighth anniversary um i'm gonna make him a little something something so i will have a vlog of that day so if you want to check that out that'll be next week and then i also have a video with me and him coming up for that day especially for that day um just because it will be our anniversary so if you are new to my channel, um, hello, welcome, subscribe down below for more videos from me. I post Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and yeah, I post anything from planning to mom life, basically, and the in-between. So, so uh, that's a lot of rambling. So today's video is my January favorites, and I hope you guys find something that you guys would like to try out. And yeah, so if you want to see this video, then keep on watching. So, we're going to jump right into it. So first off with the makeup, the two lipsticks, I like to start with my lipsticks, um, are two that I've been using this month non-stop. So the first one is the Anastasia, I think it's the lip, Liquid Lipstick and Spia, I want to say. It's so pretty. I'm in love with this. I think I mentioned this before in a, a previous um, video. It's like a pretty brown mauve tone. It's so pretty and I love the way it leaves, like stays on my lips, does not move for nothing and I just love it. So I, I love this one. And then the next one that I love is this one from MAC. I think I mentioned it before. I'm very routine on my lipsticks because I don't... If I like bold lips, it's either like a maroon or like a red or something like that. Other than that, I really don't wear pinks because it's just not me. This is like probably the pinkest we'll get and this is kind of sexy and it just looks like this. It's really not even a pink but it's just so pretty. I'm in love with it. I wear it all the time. This is actually the one that I use the most and as you can tell like it's almost gone. So the next thing I've been loving this month are these pigments right here. This one is the MAC Sunny Days pigment. It's so pretty and yeah, I'm in love with it. So I don't think you can see it, but it just looks like this. That's how I have it on my eyes, but I do have this one on my eyes. It also came with um, these other ones right here. And these ones are very pretty too. So I keep them in here like this. And I'm absolutely in love with them. Okay, so the next thing that I've been loving is this uh, eyeliner. And it's just a gel eyeliner. It looks like this. And it's from L'Oreal. It is the Black is Black. And let me tell you, this thing is super dark. Like, it's... I've, I've never found one so dark. And I've never found one that's not dried up. My e.l.f. one and my even my MAC one that I had dried up really fast. And as opposed to this one, it doesn't dry up. The MAC one I felt was a little bit lighter. And then the other ones were all lighter. This is like the darkest that I've seen it. And I actually really do love this eyeliner. The next Don't thing that I've been loving, I'm trying to get them to stay, are these Vegas Nay. Vegas Nate 
by Allure, and there is it Allure? I don't know if it's Allure, but it's the Grand Glamour. These are the eyelashes from them, and again, they're the Grand Glamour. Let's see if I can get them too, because I used them this past weekend, and they just look like this. Oh my gosh, they are so worth the price. I love these. These are my go-to lashes of all time um, when I want a pretty, like, glamour look. So, I love these. The last makeup thing that I wanted to mention was this palette right here. My husband bought this for me as a surprise gift for Christmas, and I have been loving it. Um, I'm a very matte person. I love matte colors. I love warm tone colors and this is perfect for it. I love these three colors on the top. They're so pretty. and I use this one for the um, highlight all the time. It's just so pretty. I'm trying to get it to where you don't see the mirror. Um, this one, these two, these three together I like to use. So it's just according to you on how you would want to use them. I think they are pretty. They worked so well. I love the color of them. I love the pigments of them. And I really love that it's so small and compact. I can actually throw it in my bag and be fine with it when it's in my makeup bag. Right now it sits on my vanity towards the back, back here. But when I take it out, like when I go to my mom's and I do my makeup there, um, it's easy to just throw in my bag and use, and I love it. So, so when I clean my face, I like to use these uh, cleansing wipes. These are by Equate, and they're the sensitive ones. I love these. Um, I don't, I don't use them really for all over my face because I usually just use soap all over my face. But I like to use these for my mascara and for my eyeliner and my eyeshadow bases. I use these, I'll clean them off, and then I'll go in with my soap and then clean off my soap. And then I go in with this one right here. This is the Oil-Free oil Acne Wash Daily Scrub Micro Clear um, Technology, and this is by Neutrogena. And I love this thing. I've had the Morning Burst one too, and I used to use it all the time. This is just daily i use this in the morning and i use it at night and i clean off my face and i love the way it makes my skin feel so i use these two all the time the next thing that i have been loving is this olay ultra Mo moisture with shea butter this is a body wash and i have been loving this i sent my husband to the store the um like I want to say when I was sick, so it was like in the beginning of the month, I sent him to the store to do our shopping basically, so I sent him a list of what he needed to get and he got them, except he didn't get, um, he ended up picking this one up because it was like buy three, get one free, or no, buy two, get one free, or something like that. And it had to do with like his body wash too and stuff like that. So he ended up picking up this one and Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that he got it because it makes my skin feel like a hundred times smoother. I just have to put lotion on and then it's just like so buttery and I love it. Um, it works so good. I love the moisture that it gives my skin. I feel really uh, refreshed after I take a shower just because I feel like my body has just been so bad with like chapness. My lips have been so bad just because of the winter like the change of the seasons and stuff my lips always get like that and so does my body um the smell is <sighs> so good it's to die for i swear and it actually lasts the scent actually lasts a long time i'm really surprised because usually like with body washes they don't last that long you know what i mean and so this one lasts pretty long so i do recommend that one the first one that i've been loving is this dry shampoo this is not your mother's clean freak refreshing dry shampoo that's a lot um i tried this in a sample size well, it's not a sample size, it's a travel size. And I actually fell in love with it, so I ended up buying the full bottle. I love this thing, it works so good. Um, I had the Tresemme one, but to me, the Tresemme makes that um, shadow, like that, that white shadow, that white cast still. And this one does not. I use this constantly. Right now, I don't have this in, I just washed my hair. And I curled it and it just looks, it didn't come out good so that's why I put it in this like little 
top knot thing and I don't know how I'm feeling about it yet. Probably gonna regret it later, but whatever. This video is going up. Um, the next last, well, last mommy thing is this curling iron. I must whack my face with it. This is the Revlon, um, hairs hairspray. Jeez, I can't even get it right. This is the Revlon curling hair curler and curling iron. It has like this like rose gold gold and it's just a clamp and, uh, I don't know I just I have been loving it so um, I do recommend this one it is really good I really like it um, it doesn't hold you don't get like the best curl like to hold all day type thing I feel like a wand is the only thing that will get you to be able to hold it all day hold the curl all day but other than that this gives me nice loose curls and I really have been loving this thing so this is the Revlon Curl, um, hair curler. Now for my taller favorites, you'll find a little, uh, how do I say it? You'll find a little theme to it all. And these are my taller's favorites. So we're just going to go with it. This month has been really crazy and she fell in love with something which I didn't think she was going to fall in love with because she's watched this movie before, but she's fell in love with it and now she's obsessed with it. Frozen. I have, my oldest daughter was obsessed with this movie when it first came out and I had the bedding and I had all this stuff. I ended up selling it, getting rid of it and now this one's in love with it and I'm just like oh my gosh because I have to collect everything again she wants everything and yeah so she's been loving this all month of January she's been obsessed with this it started when she got sick and we were like laying in bed most of the time and she was watching it and then now it's just gotten even worse the next thing is her Elsa doll I got this one from JCPenney and I actually got it for my oldest when she was in love with it. I have all these dolls from, well I have the Disney ones and they're the, the I think they're like 18 inches or something like that and they are the big ones. This one is from JCPenney so it is actually smaller and she carries this thing everywhere. Everywhere. Um, we go to the store and she care, you know, she takes it everywhere with her. It's like, now it's, I feel like it's her security blanket. She has to have it. Yesterday I went to the grocery store and she actually dropped it. They didn't realize that she dropped it until we got into the car. I ran back in. Well, my husband ran back in. He didn't find it. And I ran back in to go see if I could look over the underneath their shelves and everything. And I finally found it. It was underneath, like a shelf. Like, and I just see this part hanging out. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank the Lord. Because she was crying in the car already. So, she's been loving this. This has been her favorite. And yeah, so these two... She's watching it and holding it and then she's singing, running around, and yeah. So these two are her favorites. Next thing was this tin. <laughs> she has been loving this tin just because she can carry all her little knickknacks. I thought that was really cute. She carries all her, like, her jewelry. She keeps it all in here and she walks around and, like, holds it with her. So she has her Elsa doll, this, and, you know, you get the gist of that. And then the second to the last thing is this little uh, Doodle Pro. She's been loving this one. She has a big one, but it's really big, so this one is perfect size. She just grabs it and goes. She usually carries this in the car. It keeps her busy because she could just go ahead and doodle all over it and it'd be fine. Um, I love uh, having this too just because it keeps her quiet and she does enjoy just drawing things. She'll draw like she'll absolutely like nothing on it and she'll be like look mommy look and so I have to look at oh it looks so cute you know mom stuff and yeah so she's been loving this thing. The last toddler favorite is this cup again frozen and you pop it you just press it like this pop it open and it is a straw. And I found this at Babies R Us. Um, it is rather expensive and my husband was going to kill me. But I did have rewards from them that were going to expire. So I ended up using it on this. It's already, um, ins is it insulated? Yeah, insulated. And it's cold. It keeps the drink cold up to 12 hours. And so it does work really well. I used it uh, on Saturday. And it kept the milk really cold for like... I, she was using it for like five hours and then she drank it, you know, but she likes to like sip things and then go and then she'll sip it and then come back and you know what I mean? So it sits there and it worked 
so well. It stood cold and I love it. Again, it is pretty pricey, so if you, you know, I, I mean, I had the rewards, so I ended up using it, but it is $17.99 for it, and um, I think it's more because it's frozen, to be honest. I ain't gonna lie. Um, it is one of those, those thermos ones, so that is that, and I really do love this because, again, it keeps all her drinks cold not just her milk she drinks her juices and stuff like that so she really does love this thing and then she loves it even more because it's frozen so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed my january favorites so next month well this month february should be really good because i have bought a couple of new products that i want to try out and i'm super excited to try out so you'll if you if i do like them they'll probably be in my favorites of this month so yeah if you are new to my channel go ahead and subscribe down below if you like this video give it a huge thumbs up to let me know that you guys enjoy these videos if you have any requests leave them down down below I do see your requests and I do have them written out so uh, I guess that's it for this video I will see you guys in my next video bye guys